Very rarely do you ever see a Valiant Pacer come on the market these days. I think I've seen two in the last couple of years. And I tell you what, these are a great old car. These things were built in the early 70s. I think this one was a 1970 build. Uh, factory three-speed on the floor. Um, and the Valiant engines, the old Valiant uh, Hemi engines, they had plenty of torque. They're a great, great, uh, great performing car, even with a three-speed, not a four-speed gearbox. And uh, they had a lot more torque than what the Holden 6s did back in the day. Now, this one's a manual. It's got the big tank in it. it. You'd have to say the interior and the exterior are both very, very well presented. It's been fully restored. Um, and the VG Pace was just a cracker car. I remember seeing these things race at Bathurst when I was a kid, and they, uh, they did very, very well for what they were fitted with. Now, this one's got all the options. It's got the Pacer Sports dress-up package. Um, A84, I think that was the track pack uh, option. Um, it's got the short grip rear end, rear axles, uh, and the, as I said earlier, the 35-gallon fuel tank. Now, these are a, a very good car. You don't see them too often. Unfortunately, most of them were crashed or broken or rusted out or stolen back in the day. This one's now fitted with a four-barrel carburetor as well, and it's also got a slightly bigger camshaft in it. So it sounds apart, it looks apart, and they're just a fun car. So if you're a Mopar lover, really, you should jump onto grazeonline.com or uh, give us a call on 1300Classic and add this to your collection because they are a great car and they're a great driver's car. Very rare in today's market.